Hey guys, welcome to the first of a series of tutorials that I'm going to be hopefully putting out that will cover uh, my implementation of a stat system. And this will pretty much include a collection of your stats that you can create and how to manipulate them pretty easily and how to make the stats influence each other later down the road. But for now, in this video, we're just going to be covering the extreme basics of what we're going to be doing in this series. So let's get started. First off, in your uh, Open Unity project, I'm just going to do my normal setup and create my uh, scripts folder. And inside here, I'm just going to create some additional folders. This is just going to be my RPG systems. systems folder. This is pretty much where I'm going to toss everything for the rest of th this tutorial series. Um, also, I'm going to make a additional folder in here just called uh, test scripts. Just so we can test what we're doing as we go along. Um, actually, I'm going to toss that out in the scripts folder. So, First off, we're going to create our very extreme base class for all our stats. I'm just going to call this RPG stat. Let's open this up in whatever text editor you are using. And in here, I'm going to start off with our stat. This is not going to be a mono behavior, so we can get rid of all of the internal methods and the inheritance. And in here, we're just going to have a few variables. And I'm going to be using properties along also within here. So later on down the line, we can change this and inherit from the base class easily. So first off, we got a private string. And we're calling this stat name. This is what you'll see in editor and pretty much how you want it to appear in the UI of your game or wherever this may appear. Also, we got a private int, and this will be stat value. Um, then we're going to go through our two of our properties, which are just going to be properties to access these two variables that we just set up. So we got a public string, and I'm going to call this stat name. And we'll do our getters and setters. And we'll do the same for our stat value. Um, and then next, we'll just do our simple constructors for this class. We'll do an empty constructor along with constructor that will take a string for the name and a and for the value. And we'll just go through these and set these up. Empty one. We'll go ahead and set the name to string.empty. And this dot that value to zero. And this will do says stat name equal to the name. And this stat value equal to the past value. And this is all we're going to have in our stat class for now. Later on, we'll extend this stat a, few, a bit more functionality to each of these classes and make it so we can inherit it later on to add even more functionality. Um, back to Unity, and we will create another class. Uh, I'm calling this. RBG stat collection. Yep. My L's do not know want to work on this keyboard. Action. There we go. Oh, and before we enter this, gonna create one more script. This one's gonna be an enum, but I'm gonna call it RPG stat type. Open up the type first. We'll get this out of the way. We need it for the collection. This is not gonna be a mono behavior. 
This could be an enum, not a class. So we can remove all these methods. And in here for this tutorial, we're just going to have none equal to zero. So that's just the initial value. It's not set to any types. We'll also have health equals one, mana equals two. In here, you could set up a whole list of all the stats you want to be able to access within your uh, collection that we'll be setting up in a few minutes. You'll see how that works. But for now, I'm just going to have it these three. I'm going to jump back in here and open up my uh, collection script. This also will not be a model behavior, but it will be a class. We can remove both of our methods with inside. So in here, this collection is just going to hold all the stats we create for this one. Um, later on, the idea of this collection is that you'll be um, making child classes of this, so inheriting from here and then configuring it differently and setting up how the stats, their values, and how they're linked together for other characters and other stat types. So you can have multiple entities or creatures um, working with this single stat collection. But for now, this is just the base class, and we'll make it work simply. And I'll show you a uh, quick inheritance of it later on in this video. So let's begin with this. Um, the internal collection of all my stats in here is just going to be a private dictionary. And we will have to uh, include um, system.collection.generic so we can get access to the dictionary class. And in here, we're going to be using our RPG stat type as the key and RPG stat as the value. And I'm just going to call this, uh, how about stat dict, or stat dictionary. Moving on along, and we will create our constructor and here it's going to be extremely simple. Our stat dict equals new stat dictionary to initialize it. And we're also going to call a function or a method we haven't created yet. This is going to be configure stats. Pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and create it next. So this create configure stats method, we don't want to have it be called outside of this class, but we're going to be inheriting it, or I mean, overriding it in our inheriting classes. So this is going to be a protected method. And it's also going to be virtual because we're going to override it. And in here, we just call configure stats. Open it up here. And here, if you really wanted to set up some basic stats that every single thing will use, you can, but I divide against it. Later on, we we'll, might come back here and just change this into an abstract class. But for now, we'll leave it this way. Next, we're going to add a few of the basic functionality, and then we'll pretty much go back and uh, implement each of them. So first, we got a public pool contains. RPG stat type, type, or that's, no, uh, I'm just going to step through and type out all of these. Then we'll come back and talk about each one and implement each. Stat, get stat. Okay, these are the four methods that we're going to be over. Um, did make a mistake and put a public here instead of protected. These two are not going to be accessed outside of this class. They're going to be used for the configuring stat section of this class. So 
Let's go down the list. Contains. This is extremely simple. We're just gonna be checking if our stat dick contains the key of the stat type that we passed. So this will just say, do we have the stat in this dictionary already? Yeah, it's simple. Next one is get stat. So we're gonna check if we contain, or this dictionary contains the stat type. If we do, we're going to be returning from the stat dict our RPG stat that is has the key of the type. If it doesn't contain it, we're going to be returning null. So this all it does is what its name says. It gets the stat from the dictionary. Next one is the create stat. This one's going to be used in the configuration stats. This is the basic one for RPG stat, uh, stat equals new RPG stat. And then we're also gonna add this new stat that we created to our stat dictionary with the supply stat type and the stat as the value. And then we're gonna return the stat that we just created. And then our final one, our create, or, oops, I meant, I meant for this to be create or get stat instead of create or stat. Create or get stat is going to be our main method we use within configuration because later on when you inherit from this a couple of times, you may have some base classes calling configuration and you may already have created the stat or you may not have. So this will just get the instance of the stat if there is one, and if there isn't, it'll create a brand new one. So in here, we'll just go RPG stat, stat equals, get stat, stat type. So if there is a stat, the stat value will not be null. If there isn't a stat, it will be null. So let's check if it is null. We will create a brand new stat. of the supplied stat type. And then once that all is said and done, it will be either, we will either gotten the stat from the dictionary or we create a new one. And then we'll return that stat that we either made or got back from the method. And this is all the functionality we'll have in this collection for now. Later on, this will be handling pretty much initializing stats, updating them and all of Everything along those lines that you might think a stat might need to be done to them. So now back to Unity. I'm going to create another subfolder in here. This will be used later on. And this will just be RP, um, stat collections. This is pretty much everything that will be, be inheriting from uh, the stat collection. And here we'll create a new script. And I'm going to call this, how about RBG default stats? This will just be our basic one we'll be working with for a while while we test. This one will not be a mono behavior again, but we will be inheriting from our collection that we've been creating. We'll remove these methods as well. But in here, We'll write protected override void and do our configure stats. We don't need to call the base in here because the base is empty. You would be doing that in anything that inherits from your default if there's stuff within your method you've created. And in here, this is how we will be setting up our values within our collection. And this will be, first off, Let's create a RPG stat, and we can call this health equals creator get stat of stat type dot health. And now you can go along down here and go name equals health health dot stat value equals let's say a hundred. 
And you can just go down here and implement all your stats you want. And this is would be how you set up all your values. Later on, we'll do more than just do stat name and value. We'll add our modifications and things like that. Um, this may get a little long-winded, so you could also go back into your RPG stat and create a setter method. So you could type this all in one line. Um, that can start adding a lot of stuff or a lot of content to your RPG stat class that you may or may not want. Um, for now, I'm just going to go create our quick testing uh, behavior so we can check out if everything's working correctly. So in our test scripts, we're going to create a new one, and this is going to be our RPG stat test. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. This will test our uh, RPG collection. This will be a mono behavior but we won't need the update method since we're going to do everything in the start. I'm going to get rid of some of this extra comments. And in here, we'll just create a private RPG stack collection base class, and this will be our stats. And in our start, stats will be set to a new not an RPG collection, but an RPG default stats. So this should assign everything to here. And since our new child class has nothing, no additional methods, and we can access everything from our base class, we'll just keep going through here. And in here, we're going to do some little fancy trickery and just loop through all our values within our default stats. So we'll go var stat types equals enum. Um, we will need to um, include, which is it? I forget. Dot get values. Yep. Yeah. Oh, using system. Get values type of our enum, which is RPG stat type. And this will get a pretty much an array of all our types within stat, stat types, you know. And since it's array now, we can do a for each loop over var stat type in stat types. And in here, we will get a RPG stat, stat equals stats dot get stat of the stat type that we're currently on and we'll do some quick air checking just in case if you have additional stats let's see what is this type up here this is object oh we will have to uh, change this into or typecast that get it correctly. And in here, we're going to double check if stat does not equal null. Just in case your code, you have additional uh, enums that you didn't actually uh, create within your configuration for the stat. And in here, we'll just go debug.log. And then I'm going to do string.format to get a little bit fancier here stat, whatever it is, value is, so down here we can go stat dot stat name, stat dot stat value, and end that up. So this should easily just loop through all our stats that we created and say their name is whatever value. So, Jump back into Unity. In our empty 
class, we can toss this start stat test onto any of the objects in the scene and then run it and it should display in the console. Our stat health value is 100 and our mana's value is 2000. So it looks like it's working correctly and everything's good. So in the next couple of videos, we'll extend this with a little bit more functionality and get values that actually influence each other and such. So until the next values, hope this was helpful.